The sound of these greeny humbuckers are worth the price of admission. If they ever choose to sell these separately, these will be a new standard in sought after tone and they really inspire me to play. Play and Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars where we play it and trade it. Big announcement today from Gibson USA. The Kirk Hammett Greeny Les Paul Standard is here with a price tag of $31.99 USD. I'll tell you if it's worth your money. We'll go through a full on the bench specs breakdown. Of course, I'll plug it in and play it. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll give you the final score, and I'll even give you a few other comparable Gibson models that might be worth checking out if you're interested in this guitar. And you're either saying, I know what the Greenie is, I know the amazing legendary history, and I'm ready to throw that money at you today. Well, if you're ready to buy, click to buy gear using our purchase link in the description because it does support our channel directly. But let's get started, and also remember, we're giving away a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul when we hit 50,000 subscribers, and that is right around the corner. So be in it to win it, subscribe and enter. All right. Let's head over, uncase this guitar, talk a little bit about the magic of Greeny, and tell you if this guitar is worth your money. Let's do it. The original Greeny was named after Peter Green, the iconic guitarist of Fleetwood Mac, and it was a 1959 Les Paul Standard, the famous Burst, the most famous of famous guitars, the 59 Burst, classic Les Paul Standard. One iconic feature is a flipped over neck pickup that gives an out of phase sound in middle, which is chased after today. And then eventually, really cool, why is Kirk Hammett's name on the guitar? It was eventually sold for somewhere under $2 million to Kirk Hammett from Metallica, who still plays it on stage today, and it's part of his personal collection. Gibson took that original guitar and did everything from x-rays to MRI scans to get every single detail of that guitar perfect. And what they did is they created this Gibson USA model and it's not going to have as many of the appointments, of course, as the Gibson Custom Shop model, but it's going to be a much more affordable price tag, relatively speaking. These Greeny pickups, which are based on the Custom Shop Greeny humbuckers in that version, of course, they flipped it over to give you that out-of-phase sound in middle. And then beyond that, it's basically a 50s faded standard. And I don't see it advertised in the spec sheet, but this is a satin finish. It's really important to understand that the finish on this guitar is satin nitro, not gloss nitro. So let's head over to the bench and talk full specs as we pull this apart before we plug it in and play it. You have this AAA flame top. If you notice that the knobs are mismatched, you might say, is that something they screwed up? Nope, that is to imitate the actual greenie. You can get a look at the neck itself. The custom shop version has the scanned neck from the actual real greenie, and they went through great lengths to get that exact. This is just gonna be a regular production 50 standard profile, so a meteor neck uh, by itself. I particularly love the way that satin feels in the hands. It's extremely playable. I also like a chunkier neck. So if you like a 50s profile neck, uh, this checks both those boxes. 1.68 inches at the nut, 0.89 inches at the first, 0.98 inches at the 12th. Body thickness, 1.96 inches, mahogany body, and a two-piece flame, AAA flamed maple top, which looks beautiful. So this is cool. This is a unique set of humbuckers just for this guitar. You can see they're marked greeny, lead and rhythm. Flipping on the multimeter, 8.4 in bridge, 7.6 in neck, 3.9 combined. And as I put this back together, just remember that you'll need to leave the neck pickup flipped for full effect. Some orange drop capacitors are a nice touch from Gibson USA, although on the custom shop you would have the more authentic bumblebee caps like the 59 Les Paul Standard would have. Uh, but looks nice under here, all hand wired, Gibson Potts, 500K. All right, let's see how mean green he is or how lean green he is in the weight department. Eight pounds, 15 ounces, so just a hair under nine pounds. We'll call it 8.9 pounds. Pretty good weight for a Les Paul. I love a Les Paul right around nine pounds. And the guitar feels fantastic. I mean, the construction is perfect. I love a 50s Les Paul Standard. That's like my favorite guitar and I love satin. So I was excited about the Faded series as well. The question is, for an additional $700, is the Kirk Hammett Greeny worth that upcharge? Let's plug it in and find out. And remember, if you're in the market for this guitar or any gear, click to buy using our link in the description. Let's plug in and put this guitar to the test.
love, love, love that out of phase middle position is fantastic. It's the most usable position I've ever had on a Les Paul, and it's super inspiring to play it. Middle position, out of phase, fantastic. The way they voiced these pickups, the way they wired it up. Knocked it out of the park in that regard. Nailed it. So parting ways with you, I will tell you, I loved the sound of the Kirk Hammett Greeny. It sounds and plays fantastic. On that basis alone, I would absolutely recommend this guitar. And I would tell you that if you want to be part of the legacy of Peter Green and the Greeny Les Paul, that beautiful 59 Les Paul standard, then this is a way to get in without spending $50,000 or $20,000 on a custom shop that still gives you that association. And I think that that's what they're offering. Yes, it comes at a premium price, but what they did with these pickups really shines, and I think they nailed the sound of these pickups. They sound so beautifully sweet and full, and they sing, and it just makes me want to play. So, you stay tuned till the end. I'm going to give you my final score. I give a final score based on overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. And I'm going to give high marks in playability. I'd give it a solid 9, 9.5. When it comes to sound, I'll give it a 9.5. And the only thing that's going to pull the stinking guitar down is going to be value because there is a comparable on the market that costs $700 less. And I always will be honest with you and I'll tell you, there's a cheaper alternative and it's not different enough than the Les Paul Standard Faded to not tell you about the Faded and point you there. Also, it's not similar enough to the true Greeny Les Paul and it's certainly not similar enough to the Custom Shop Greeny that they offered in two various iterations. It kind of gives you an association in pickup and name only, plus you get a flipped pickup and a couple knobs. And at the end of the day, I'll let you be the judge of if the premium price is worth it. You also get that premium AAA top, which is nice. But I'll tell you what, if you're gonna buy this guitar, buy it while you can. Use our link to purchase this guitar. And if you want a great alternative, I can't stress enough, you can get the experience of playing this guitar minus the greeny pickups by picking up the Les Paul Standard 50s faded for $24.99. Thanks for watching this video. Click on a link to watch our next demo. Sign up for our giveaway. We'll give away that Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'm John Nedzak, and this is Playing Trey Guitars. Thanks for hanging.